Hey, <laughs> Glenn made top eight at the. Was it what tournament was it? I know what I said. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Be nice, be nice. Just bullying him. Yeah. Wait, what am I saying? I got, I got. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, we're getting. Zane we're getting into this set with the bail. Oh my! What? That's a classic. That's a throwback. That's a Smash Four right there. Take it away, guys. Maybe doesn't like that. Du oh, act oh. Wait, no. Because Duck Hunt's cans can go through Richter's holy water. So, I was about to say, maybe it's so that the, maybe the character doesn't get messed with as much. But Richter's holy water isn't fire, so the cans can go through it. It's true. Wait, how does... Do you know how... um? What's his name? Oh. Do you know how Simon's... Uh, yeah, Simon's is fire. Yeah, does that, does that interfere with the can? Yes, it does. It, it has fire properties. So, oh. it, all explosives get interfered, but... Zane SD just straight up just went off stage and just started doing their thing. I'm very confused by that. That was a very uh, unfortunate SD on the first talk. I gotta say, I understand the pick because I think... I think in Zane's mind, they were thinking, okay, like, my can is gonna get F tilted and forward aired and far away. They're just not gonna get hit by the can. So Zane's like, okay, I'm gonna try out the Bayo. I know that I can just keep up being towards the ledge, just like this, and get the Gimp. Yeah, see, exactly. Ooh, wow. Exactly. Okay. I respect it now. But I mean, this is Dark Falcon. So, definitely one of the more, I guess, known Richter players. Yeah, for sure. Gaining a lot of prominence. I think Dark Falcon has uh, has actually won a couple of Wi-Fi tournaments recently. I know they won a Fusion at some point, which is uh, quite impressive. Oh, wow. And, oh, oh, no. Please don't. Please. This is the this is second time now. PS2 is just not working out. PS2 kind of has that sort of uh, pineapple effect that mm -hmm. uh, goes as far back as Melee when they had uh, Dreamland. Um, it can be really annoying to deal with. Hence why a lot of people actually prefer a small battlefield as a stage. Um, yeah. but, ooh, nice edge card coming out from Zane to take that stock. Yeah, Zane just will SD and then they just even it back out very quickly. You know, this is... I don't know how, how to how to feel about that, you know? Like, they can't... They're messing up the recoveries, but they're also doing very well with killing. You, you know what I've never understood? And this is from the Bayo perspective, this is from the Belmont perspective. I've read up that Belmont does have struggles to kill, but I really don't see it. Because, like, sure, their up B is kind of whack, because you can DI it pretty well. But the holy water setups, the F tilts, I feel like there's a lot of great kill options. It's that you gotta really like condition your opponent in order to get those kill setups. Like the holy water, you really have to condition your opponent to neutral get up to really get that going a lot of the time. Mm. And it's very much a you have to get their mental down. <gasps> Wait, what? Whoa? Oh no, they have their jump. Yeah. Please don't tell me SD. Okay, good. If they SD after that, I would have been so mad. Good air dodge and disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Now like a little. Only needs a little bit more for her fourth throw to just kill. A little bit more. Yeah, especially because it's starting to get unstaled. Maybe like 20, 30%. Alright, knockoff stage. Is that gonna be it? I think that's. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this is it. Wow, great delay there. Oh. Alright, down throw. No, going for the fourth throw instead. <gasps> oh, is oh. that it? That's it, that's it. That's it. Don't go. Wait, wait. Z Zane! Shield, 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 shield. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh. Okay. Wow. They didn't even. They sd twice and they still won. Wow. I was so scared. Okay, that that was it, right? There was no need to do anything else. Yeah. Oh.
Wow. That was something for sure. They're just like, here, take these stocks. I'll just give them away. I don't need them. I don't need them. You can wipe your stock right away. Mm -hmm. Just take it anyways. Looking to see what the bracket's looking like right now. 54 entrants. We're at winners, that means. Oh, wow. Wait, you said there's 54 entrants? Yep, Xeno 54, yeah, 54 with 54. 54. Yeah, oh, oh wow. My God. Wow, and yeah, I was is, just gonna say. <laughs> this is winner's quarters. I didn't even realize. Yep. Whoa. There's one more quarter. This is blazing. Yep. What the? This is going so fast. Only an hour and a half in, and it's already to like almost top eight. Oh wow! I know. Tor I I've worked with tournaments that take like that take like four hours that are usually smaller than this that take like four hours to get to top eight. What the? Huh? I think there are some where pretty did, early upsets as well. Where did mm. where did Dark Falcon go? Okay, Dark is just <laughs> he's back. Bye guys. You good? Homie? He's guys, like, I don't want to do this anymore. Just GG, shake my hand. GG's, GG's, BG's, D's. G's, shake my hand. This is going to be interesting to see if Zane actually figures out how to recover with Bayonetta because I feel like they could probably do much better with these wins if they just actually recover. Oh no. Or they don't even need to. Oh my Ooh. god, that's a zero to death. Uh, yeah, see this is where Bayo is queen. I was about to say king. Bayo is queen because she has really good tools to edge guard with. She has the up B to cover the ledge. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you can just go far out. Um, I know there's this really cool thing where if you up B and then jump, but immediately up B after double jumping, you actually keep your jump. And that's super useful in a match like yeah. this. Also, not a bad recovery if you actually know how to use it. Which is a pretty big asterisk there, the if you know how to use it. Because I've seen plenty of Bayonetta, it's just SD. Like earlier. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, but it seems like Zane is starting to uh, get a gauge of their character. I know Duck Hunt is kind of hard to recover with. You kind of have to throw out a bunch of projectiles and then, you know, keep at bay with the ledge. But um, no, they, they don't even need that this time around because they're using Bayo. Yeah. And all they need is to take Dark Falcon off stage like once more just to take this stock because they could just throw out a big hitbox. Because Bayonetta has quite a few active moves. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, it's back airs. Wow. This is not looking good for Dark Falcon. Every single time that they get back to stage, it looks like. They get a little bit of a ledge trap, and then Zane just brings it right back to advantage, usually. Yeah, certainly, certainly. And it seems like Dark Falcon oh. is now... Oh! That was a brave grab. Back here, back here to cover the top, and then winning the F-tilt. That's what I want to see. More coverage of jumps, and then oh. just have to stay grounded. Perfect. Okay, just returning the favor going, I want to end this game without SDing. Please, just let me do this. Well, I'm getting around all three projectiles. Because when you do that, there's like a little bit of a range, like right in between where there's no hitboxes. 
Yeah, that's correct. And that can be really difficult to work around. Mm -hmm. Ooh, those side Bs, you're seeing a lot more from Zane. I think they're pretty wary of... Oh, no! Didn't even care that they got zero to death. Just goes... To finish that off. For back air. Mm. So that was very smart. So I know there's a little bit of intangibility at the beginning of the up B. Um, this is kind of a pro and con of Bayo's up B. Up B is a great way to cover ledge um, for edge guards. The one con of it is you kind of have. It's similar to the whole like Terry Twinkle Toe effect where your hurt box goes above the ledge when you recover and mm -hmm. that can kind of leave you open. Yeah. Because they actually are both sort of similar in the, their recoveries in that they don't really have much that snaps to ledge. Like, only way that, for example, Terry can snap to ledge is if you space it perfectly. Bayonet, I don't think, has anything to snap to ledge. Yeah, it can be very, very difficult. Right, we're running it back. PS2. Alright, good damage. Alright, keeping the pressure at ledge. Oh. You see Dark Falcon really jumping from side to side. That can be a little risky just because you do have low air speed, but um, still kind of getting away with it just because of Belmont's massive range. Jeez, just relentless with this pressure with the projectiles. Mine. Just throwing out the holy water. Just take this. And this. Take this and this and this. Not just my holy water, but my axe, my cross, everything. Oh, oh. missing it. Alright. An axe to cover the ledge. And, yeah, that's exactly Again. Cover it. Going too high for it. That's one of those times where you have to sort of... Oh, you have to get used to just going for a nair to just get some extra damage in. I'm surprised I'm not seeing an F tilt. I'd expect an F tilt at this point. Hmm, okay. Throw him off. Oh no. Getting more and more damage and disadvantage. But is that it? Yes. I thought she, I thought they were gonna get a lot more damage off of the forwarder, but they didn't quite get much. No, oh my god! Uh, that's a pretty big lead for Dark Falcon right now. Zane needs to take this soon. Just throw him off stage, please. Yeah, I was just gonna say like Zane's gotta do the same thing they did game one, right? Like just yeah. keep him off stage, keep him at bay, like. Even when they SD'd, they were coming back. I want to see that game play again. Looks like Dark Falcon is just not letting them. Oh, that was a perfect jump back to avoid the F smash. These are really good grabs as well from Dark Falcon, knowing exactly when they're just going to block and not even spot dodge it. All right, let's trap situation. How are you going to get out? Oh. That's it. Exact same way that it ended last time. Or very similar. But, wow, that was a fantastic comeback set from Dark Falcon there. Even getting zero to death in game two and just not letting it get to them. It was amazing.